got a good new fashioned big man battle tonight. Lakers, Sixers, AD fresh back from his injury goes head to head with Joel Embiid who has lost his damn mind. And it got me to thinking, you know, <laughs> two years ago, come on, AD was the best big in the game. Think about the Denver series against Jokic on the way to the chip in the bubble, right? He was just, like, and Jokic looked really, he was just better. And his team won as a result largely of his play. But now with AD missing so much time, Shanae, with the further ascension of Jokic, who's gotten even better since then, and Embiid, who maybe game for game has been the best big man, not to mention Giannis who's really a big who gave him 50 in a deciding finals game last year. It's not so clear. So let me ask you first, AD or Embiid? Okay. That's an easy answer, Max. I'm taking Joel Embiid just because he has been arguably the most dominant player since Christmas Day. Now, I know I love what Jaws doing, so you can say 1A and 1B, but this man has scored 30 points in every game since Christmas except one. Also, he's unlocked every facet of his game. I mean, he's got the post-up game that we love to see, the dream shake, Olajuwon, all that type of thing. He's got the face-up, the nice touch on the mid-range. He's shooting a career high from three and also getting career high numbers and assists per game the answer is Joel Embiid largely because AD is back but Joel is here and dominating so there is some fairness to it you have to give AD a little bit of runway but right now Joel Embiid has inserted himself not only into the conversation when it comes to all-stars but again year after year back in the MVP conversation when you include him taking the ball up court sometimes and the passing recently not to mention the three-point shooting he probably has the and, and then the, the wide body seven foot legit size. He probably is the most complete offensive big we've ever seen, right? Like what doesn't he do offensively? So let me ask you this, Shane. So it's fun. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Max. Ask well, me. is is AD even a top three big? We got Jokic, we got Giannis. Forget about even KD and the fact that he's seven feet. He's a wing, right? Is AD a top Producer Nick, three big? Uh, leading the witness. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's unfair to say that he's not top three because this is all based on reality where we are now, right? He's missed the last 17 games. He can play himself into being a top three big, but the reality is they have so many issues going on with the Lakers overall, acclimating Russ, making sure LeBron James stays dominant. I don't know when that's going to be when you look at the likes of Giannis dominating, looks at the like of Joe Embiid, who's finally the number one option and everyone knows that. And then, of course, Nikola Jokic put some respect on that man's name when we talk about passing bigs. I think it's amazing to see the different fascinate, uh, you know, the different aspects of these true centers. But right now, AD has to work his way back into that conversation, knowing that, yeah, he won a championship two years ago, but we still really want to see where he stacks up against that crew. No, 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 Shanae. Who are you taking AD over? Bump someone out the big three. Not any of those Not three right Embiid. now. Huh? Not, uh, not over any of those three right now, and it's large. He has, he can play into it, but right now it's not. It's, who's I'm not who's him third over. on the list that he's going to take over? Giannis, uh, excuse me, uh, Jokic is the reigning MVP. Me? He's better than he was last year. Giannis is the Finals MVP. He's at le he's at least as good as he was last year, if not better. And Embiid is the best he's ever played. I don't see how AD gets into this thing. From leading the witness to pleading the fifth, all three of those guys have earned their stripes. AD is trying to get back in that conversation. <laughs> New report from Woj dropped this morning, Shanae. He says the Nets will not even listen to trade offers for James Harden. Don't bother calling. Nets owner Joe Tsai and GM Sean Marks think, come on, they know they have an unstoppable force when everyone plays. And they apparently believe Harden is all in. Shanae. Teams are only as faithful as their options, right? Read between the lines here. Who is this announcement really for? Is it for other GMs? Is it for fans? Or is it for Brooklyn's roster? I would say that this announcement is for James Harden because he is their number one best option for continuity moving forward this season. I know he was out due to the hamstring, but realistically, of the big three, when you brought this experiment together, he's been on the floor the most. Not Kyrie, not KD. This message is saying, look, James, we need you now. It's not that we just want you. We need you for our further success to keep that playoff positioning and buying us time until Kyrie Kyrie and KD are both available if that will ever happen this season. Well, Shanae was a hostile witness, but excellent nonetheless. Thank you, Shanae. <laughs>